Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I light paint cars. I'm going to be using my Turbo Honda Civic as an example, because I haven't got any shots of it yet. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of ways of doing this, but this is my way of doing it, and I'll show you the whole process. Let's go. So first you'll need a decent location where it's not too bright and not too dark. In this case, it's kind of in between. So you always want to have your camera on a tripod. You're going to do multiple exposures. So in this shot, I have a 20 second shutter speed, aperture of nine, so that the entire car's in shot. And if the background's decent, you want to have that in the shot as well, in focus. In my case, the background's not that fantastic. I'm going to keep it dark. And obviously the car's the main focus of the photo shoot. And you want to have your camera in manual focus so that when you're stacking the photos, all the uh, shots are in focus and the focus doesn't change. My first shot, what I like to do is take a photo of just the car by itself, no light painting and just the background. I have it on a five second self timer. Gives you a chance to walk over to the car with the light and then start painting. I've got it on a 20 second shutter speed. It gives me time to run around the entire car and get enough light on the car. I'm also using an ND filter on the lens so that I can lighten or darken the photo if it's too bright. Start with the first shot. Set the timer, walk over to the car. I like to do a high pass of the car first. Go around the entire car. Going around the back is what is my favorite part. Gives it a 3D effect. It really makes it pop out from the background. Then you wait for your camera to start processing. Okay, that's the first shot. Usually do a few shots, trying to get as much details as you can. Next, go low. Make sure you get the wheels any important parts of the car, like the intercooler, or the badges, anything like that. Now my main tip also is when you go in the back, make sure you don't run the light through the back of the car, because when you're post-processing, it gets very difficult. I'll, sh I'll give you an example. I'll run at the back of the car. If you have the light going through the back of the car, it's very hard to delete out of the shot. You can also preview your, your shots. Just make sure you don't move the tripod at all. All right, so in this example, I'm gonna go behind the car and show you guys what not to do. If you go behind the car like this and the light passes behind the car, when you come to edit the photo, it's going to be very hard to edit out the light, the light streak. And last of all, you don't want to, you don't want to point the light at the camera while it's taking the photo and you never want to stand still. As long as you're moving, you won't be seen in the photo. So you can walk semi-slow, but never, never point the light at the camera and never just stand still. Try and keep the light off you. Now if you want to get up nice and close, you can. If you get more details in. You can also, if you need to, walk in front of the car. Just get an upper shot. As long as you keep moving and don't stand still, the camera's not gonna get you. We can go over, get all your details in, and get that intercooler in, and that's pretty much it. Now I'm also going to do a photo with the lights on, the headlights. So what you want to do here is get your exposure on your camera so that you've just got the lights. That was wrong, I don't want to use that. Okay, you want to use your shutter speed. So it doesn't really matter, you don't have to have it on very high. Take your photo. So 
So now we've just got the lights in the photo. A little brighter one as well, just for safety. Now I'm going to move the car, get some different shots. I want to have a nice front end shot of the car. And don't forget to always adjust your focus if you move the car. Remember, get your initial shot first without any lighting. All right, now we do our first light paint. Don't forget your highs, your lows, and you can do medium, I guess middle. Make sure you get all the little details of your car. All right, so I want one from left to right. Keeping nice and low. Because you've got 30 seconds, you can do more than one pass at once. Sometimes I don't recommend doing that in one go just because it makes it harder to edit out. Right now we're just gonna keep it real high. And always double check your photo, but try your hardest not to move the camera. It'll be very light on the buttons. I have a feeling that I'm getting the light in the headlights. I want to have them looking really nice. Might just do a top shot, see how that looks. It's also a good tip to wear some dark clothes. So that the less chance you have of showing up in the photo, the better. Let's go around the back. Making sure to keep the light above the car. Okay, go around again. You can also get emphasis on your interior as well. So with some of these shots, I'm having trouble with the light going into the, into the headlights. I'm not too keen on that look. <laughs> so, just going around the back. <laughs> Hopefully you can't see that too badly on the camera. <laughs> Alright, so hit play. Keep it down. I'm just gonna do the Recaros. Okay, that's it. That should be in the shot. So what you're doing with the light is basically just painting out all the shadows. The more shadows that you paint out, the better. Gives it that 3D look. And then you check your photo, see how it turned out. Okay, again, we're gonna turn on the headlights, just in case you want that shot. I'm gonna dim the brightness using the shutter speed. And there you go. All right, now we're gonna move it. Get a back end shot. Maybe a front shot. Even a side shot. Just be creative. Get shots that you want. Always make sure to adjust your focus as before. Take the initial shot. Adjust the background. In the car, without any lights. Okay, again, hi. Go 
low. Now we get our low shot. Make sure you get your wheels. Any details. One from here. Keep your light nice and high. You can point it down at the car. Sometimes it's good not to walk in front of the camera just to be safe. Don't want any light streaks going in front of the car. You can do it from way back as well. Okay, now we're gonna get a back view, and that should be it. Okay, I'll quickly set this up. Level out the camera, focus. Obviously, you want the whole thing in focus. But you mostly want to make sure that the tail lights are in focus. Again, get your initial shot, and you gotta wait and wait. And the longer your exposure, the longer your shutter speed, the longer the process is going to take. How you going, man? Yeah, bro. <laughs> uh, EJ, actually. EJ, sorry. Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, just getting in some light painting. Oh, light painting? Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, just making a video. Oh, nice. Shouldn't affect it too much. Oh, uh, yeah, just turbo, um, some internals, some exterior stuff. Bit of everything, yeah, cool. Uh, it's actually a D series, this one. Yeah, non, non VTEC, yeah, single, single cam. <laughs> I didn't like how the light was going through the, uh, the tail light. Is that light giving you too much light? Or? No, that's no. not too bad. I've got an ND filter on there. Kind of cut it down a bit. <laughs> yeah, nice. Nice night skate. Nice and cool for it, eh? Oh, that turned out his feather. <laughs> that was sick. What's that light? Oh, that's the light. So we'll cut that out in oh, post. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's probably my favourite shot of the night, to be honest. 